Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone as we are live streaming at ITW 2024, just a stone's throw away from the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. This is JSA TV and JSA Podcast, your newsroom for digital infrastructure. And today I am so excited and honored to be speaking with Vanya Alin. She is with Segra, a fiber optic infrastructure leader, reimagining the future of connectivity. Vanya, welcome, welcome to JSA TV. Well, thank you. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. We are thrilled that you're here and for taking such uh, amazing time today and, and uh, this week out of your ITW schedule. I know each each minute is highly scheduled, so thank you for joining us. My pleasure. And um, as Chief People Officer, which, by the way, I love that title, thank and I, you. I'm seeing it more and more and so excited about that. Uh, but we'd love to hear your perspectives on the important role of diversity, equity, and inclusion, especially how it plays with Segra and its approach. Sure, and thank you for such a great question and a warm intro. And so at the heart of DEI and B, um, is, it's all about the people. Yeah. And so when you think about technology and what we're doing here at this conference and certainly what we do at Segra day to day, it's about bringing people together. And so it's providing them with the technological resources and solutions that enable uh, businesses, companies, organizations, governments to do that. And so if you bring that down to um, the DEI and B initiatives at Segra, we want our employees to mirror the customer base that we serve. Our customers are not monolithic. They are not uh, heterogeneous. It's a homogenous customer base. And so we owe it to our customers to provide them with employees as well as services that are just as diverse as they are. And so when I think about the initiatives that we have in play and what that looks like going forward is to be even more intentional and purposeful around how we ensure that we continue to attract build and retain diverse talent that matches the needs that our customers expect of us at Segra. Brilliant. Intention, diversity, inclusivity. I love it. With Segra's extensive fiber optic infrastructure footprint, as you mentioned, extensive, rich, uh, diverse uh, customer base, the services you offer and the growth and the connectivity consumption, all of this, yeah. how do you see the role of women particularly and people of color really evolving within the company, particularly in technical and leadership roles? Sure. I love that question. And so I'm very proud to say when you look at Segra, and I encourage all of your viewers to look at our website and look at our executive leadership profile, there's one thing that you will see that stands out about Segra, particularly at the C-suite level. And that is that half of our senior team, literally half are female. So four out of the eight are female and three of the four are people of color, women who are people of color. That is unheard of in the technology space. And I go back to the intentionality around looking and seeking, attracting and retaining diverse talent. And so our goal is to have our employees and our customers look at our leadership and say, Segra is really doing something different. They have looked at and have defined and determined how they are going to place, grow, groom and develop not just the talent at the various highest levels of the organization, but throughout the organization. So we're very, again, I keep using the word intentional and purposeful by design to ensure that there's equal opportunity for women and people of color as we continue to grow in this industry and grow our company. And so you'll see us do things like development sessions. We have a women's development session literally just for the females of our employees and the men in our organization who want to be allies. Mm -hmm. We encourage them to take those leadership trainings. We have a, a women's ERG, and I'm proud to say that half of the leadership team of the Women's Employee Resource Group, ERG, is male. And so again, we're looking not just at promoting women, but also utilizing those allies and our male colleagues to ensure that our women have um, places to grow careers to pursue, um, and longevity at our company. And I'm, I'm very, very proud of that. I am so proud of that too for Segra and to have Segra as an industry uh, leader and, and to inspire all of us to follow in your footprints. I Thank am you. so, so excited. And by the way, guys, uh, Vanya here, a headliner at ITW. Yesterday, you participated in a panel called Empowered Network Fishbowl. 
and that's to support women in tech, of course. Yes. Tell us a little bit more. That panel, and I don't know if it's being uh, recapped or, or televised elsewhere. I hope it is. Uh, it was an amazing panel. It was my honor to be a part of that panel. But one of the key takeaways, and there were many, but I'll, I'll give you the highlight. And for me, um, it was really about women being empowered. So I love that it was named the Empowered Network Fishbowl to own our careers. There is nothing that is stopping us from transforming this industry. We talked about historically where the industry has been, which is no secret, is primarily male dominated. And we talked about the past is the past. We can't change that. But what we can change is the future. And how do we do that? So we talked about investing in females, women talent early. We talked about literally recruiting and developing future leaders in STEM as early as elementary school. Um, and that probably sounds a little bit bizarre. But the thought behind that is, if you cultivate that interest and groom that interest from early on, all the way throughout high school and beyond, we're starting to develop that talent very early. This industry has been around for a long time. It is going to be around for a long time. The earlier we start in investing in that talent, championing their interests, getting them involved in projects and associations and organizations that support their development, that support their, that support their interests, by the time they get to your and my seats, they've had that. That's all they know. That's all they know. I gave a story, um, and, I'll, and I'll close with this. I know we're running close on time. But I gave a story where one of my best friends, um, her two-year-old daughter at the time, she was looking at my iPad, and she wasn't looking at the content, which is what most two-year-olds will do. But I could see her looking like, how is this information kind of working? How am I getting the content? It was a natural curiosity there. And I never forgot that. So I've been mentoring her now. She's 16. So I've been mentoring her since two years old in technology. And now um, I'm helping her uh, get her first internship this summer with a technology company. That's just one example. It's a micro example. But that the point is, if you see that interest, that curiosity, invest in it. Yeah. See it through. And I, I'm so, uh, such brilliant words. I am so excited that we're capturing it here. I have a daughter who's three, she'll be four soon, and her natural inclivity, uh, propensity towards uh, science. There you go. Educate, uh, it's just so beautiful to watch her grow into that. And I'm sitting there thinking about when I was in high school science class and my chemistry teacher wouldn't even call on me. I was right. one of the only two women in that class. Right uh, at the time, so what a long way we've come. We yes. still got some work to do. That's right. Uh, but uh, our future generations, I'm really excited for them. Absolutely, the future is is very bright. It's very bright. Thank you so much for joining us, Vanya. Taking time out of your amazing schedule here at ITW, we so appreciate you. It's been my pleasure. Thank you. Thank your audience as well. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcast as we stream live here at ITW 2024. Happy networking.